welcome to selenium training so today we'll take up a very basic topic what is selenium to understand what is selenium we'll go to the official website of selenium that is seleniumhq.org and over here the first line it says that selenium automates browsers that means it is an automation testing tool that is basically for automating the web based application in various browsers it cannot automate your desktop based application it is only used in browsers so the very fundamental question that what selenium is well the answer to that is basically it's an automation testing tool which will automate your web based application and it works on the following browsers that is it works on chrome internet explorer firefox opera and safari so this makes selenium very powerful because it works on multiple browsers apart from this it also works on the latest version of mozilla and it works on the version 6 7 8 9 of internet explorer and the latest version of chrome firefox opera and safari as well along with this it also works on multiple operating system that is you can make selenium work on windows or you can make it work on mac or you can make it work on linux or unix based system and many more operating systems so this makes it a very powerful tool and that's why the demand of selenium is increasing day by day because it works on multiple browsers works on multiple browsers and multiple operating systems now if you have to use this tool you will have to write the code in some language for example you can write the selenium code in c sharp you can write it in java ruby python perl or php so these are the six languages which selenium supports now it is not necessary just make a note over here that it's not necessary that if your application under test is made in php then you have to write your selenium code in php many people have this myth that if my application is made in java then i will have to write the selenium code in java no it is independent of the application under test if i make my website in c sharp i can write my selenium code in php as well so it is independent of the language in which the website is made fine so we have seen that uh, selenium as i told you it works it supports multiple browsers and multiple operating systems and it can work with multiple languages as well so now coming over to the components of selenium what are the components of selenium and how it actually evolved selenium is made up of four components presently there are four components of selenium that is ide rc web driver and grid now let us take the first component that is ide ide is something which comes as a add on in firefox it only works on mozilla browser and comes as a add on in the mozilla firefox ide is primarily a record and run tool recording and running functionality is present in every automation tool so it is present in ide as well the drawback of ide is that it works only on mozilla firefox and sometimes it becomes little difficult to use ide although you can do a lot of things in ide you can parameterize your test we will see how to we will see everything as we proceed with the course we'll parameterize the test cases as well using ide and all but there are some limitations in ide the major one being that it only works on mozilla now in the beginning there was something known as rc which used to work on multiple browsers and it is available in multiple languages as well that is you can write the selenium code in java c sharp ruby python perl or php for learning ide you don't need to learn any programming language but 
you but if you are working with rc you must know any one of the programming languages all right so now rc had its own limitations as well with rc there used to be a separate server which was difficult to handle so to overcome those limitations web driver came into existence it came into the market now web driver again it supports multiple browsers and it is an enhanced version of rc but the architecture of web driver is completely different from the architecture of rc the architecture is completely different so ide it works only on mozilla but rc and web driver works on all the browsers and both of them require the knowledge of any one of the programming languages that we had discussed all right now comes the grid the grid is something which will help you run your test cases parallelly for example if you've got say 200 test cases and you want to run the test cases uh, you want to run these test cases parallelly on three machines one machine will run what will run your test case on ie the other will run it on mozilla and the next one on the chrome so there you use grid or suppose you want to distribute your test cases on four different machines that is on the first machine first 50 test cases should run on the next machine next 50 on the third machine next 50 and on the fourth machine next 50 test cases should run so basically you want to divide your test cases into parts and run them parallelly so that the execution takes lesser time so for that again we use the grid right so these so these are all the components of selenium the four components of selenium okay so in all we can say that selenium web driver is a web automation framework that allows you to execute your test against multiple browsers not just the firefox unlike selenium ide all right so we had seen the what is selenium the components of selenium how it evolved and what all you need to learn well in order to learn selenium you must have the basic knowledge of the programming language the basic concepts of the object oriented programming language in order to learn selenium and yes we will be learning c sharp as well in this course that is selenium with c sharp okay so this is what you need to learn and from the future from the market perspective the future of selenium as i told you that the demand for selenium is increasing day by day in the market we have the advanced version of selenium that is apm tool which is used for automating the mobile based applications so like this you can see that the demand is increasing and it will keep on increasing in the coming days as well and in the companies as well the there are there is a lot of scope for testing for selenium automation testing as well okay so that's all thank you